Hi there, welcome to Hua Sports as part of our coverage here together with Toon Army Malaysia over the weekend for this match between Newcastle and QPR. We're going to have this new segment here on Hua Sports called The Pulse where we find out what's happening with the respective clubs. So this time we've got the Newcastle United together with Toon Army Malaysia together with Joe and Joe. This is Jonathan and this is Johan. So what we want to ask uh, Jonathan first is, well, it's halfway through the season. Is this the real Newcastle in terms of performance and where they are in the standings? Well, I think it's, uh, it's fair to say that uh, we have proved a lot of our critics wrong. And we did start the season very, very well. And uh, it, they, 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 weren't really, they weren't really too sure how, how far we could go. But we really we, we took an 11-match unbeaten run. And we did face the top three teams. We did not do really well, but we did come back strong. And now I think the, the whole Premier League is seeing the real Newcastle. And some people are saying, or, or one person in particular, we won't mention any names, that the win against uh, Manchester United was a fluke. I, I highly disagree with that. We, we really, really played well in that game. We, we took the game to Manchester United. I mean, we, we weren't afraid. We, we played our, our normal passing game. And yeah, Demba Ba is, is, is a superb striker and that no one could take that victory away from us. Yeah. And that's a very good cue as we go to the other Joe, Johan. Yes. Demba Ba and Czech Teote are away on national duty. Now during this transfer window, do you think Alan Padu should buy and uh, strengthen the squad without the two, I mean, influential players that you, they are away right now? Of course, uh, because we need the depth of the team. We need, we need more players to come in. Uh, and the thing is about the, the club that we are very lucky we have a very good scout and we're hoping to sign some young um, players which we are looking at in other different leagues and hopefully they will step up and fill the boots of the missing players for the African nation tournament. Yeah, it's a, it's a funny funny tournament to say. It's the Africa Cup of Nations. I don't know why they call it that. But speaking about Dembaba, now, the, the, the problem with him is he has a get-out clause in his contract where he could go back to France. But then again, the question to both of you is, will he go or would you actually take back Andy Carroll even if it's a £20 million discount? Well, at the moment, he's away on African Cup Nation duty, so it's, it's highly improbable that he will leave in January. But come... Come, uh, hopefully he, he will he will sign a new contract that that you know takes this clause out. Uh, hopefully he won't go. But on the terms of whether Andy Carroll will come back, I I think that is just transfer rumors. I don't really think Liverpool are willing to make a 20 million pound loss in the transfer market like that. But will I accept him back for 10 million? Yeah, sure. Why not? What about you, Johan? Your your prodigal son, Andy Carroll? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Uh, we don't want him. <laughs> Sure, I mean, yeah, he, he's a Jordi uh, fan. Demba, Demba also said that he has some unfinished business in Newcastle and hopefully he stays and not go to PSG. And yeah, maybe along the way, after maybe we qualify for Europe, maybe, and we, we don't mind having Carol back as a super sub. Super sub. So he can play in like and the F F FA Cup matches instead of uh, the European matches, maybe? Yeah, that <laughs> will be a good punishment for him. <laughs> <laughs> so now you know what the Newcastle fans are talking about. So that has been another edition of Pulse right here on Hua Sports.